Okay, so example A in the integration topic, the last example of integration by substitution part one. Um, if you haven't seen example five, six, and seven, watch them first because this is the kind of last one. Um, so we're, what we're looking for is um, an integrand here. We're looking for a function which is, uh, we've got two parts to it. We've got um, a composite function multiplied by some other term which is the derivative of the inside function. Well, have we got this here? Well, if we rewrite it, it might be a bit more obvious. We've got the integral of uh, 6e to the x multiplied by, not divided by, multiplied by 3e to the x plus 1 to the power negative 1. And if you write it in that form, it seems a bit more obvious that we've got the, the same uh, arrangement as we did in the previous examples. This looks like um, because of the fraction here, it looks different. That, oh, no, we can't use that. It doesn't look like it's a composite function here. That doesn't look like a composite function, but it is because it's to the power negative 1. So now we've got things looking a bit more familiar. We've got a composite function here, and the 6e to the x is a kind of derivative of um, the inside function here. So we can go ahead and say let u equal the inside function 3e to the x plus 1. So du by dx is the derivative of 3e to the x is just 3e to the x. Multiply through by dx. And we've kind of got something similar. Look, at, look back now at 6e to the x dx. We've got 3e to the x dx. So if we double that... We've got the term we want, we have to double that. For 2du is what we're going to substitute in. Um, so let's do that. We're going to substitute u for 3e to the x plus 1. We've got to the power negative 1. And the rest of it, the 6e to the x dx, we're going to replace with 2du. So now our integral becomes the integral of 2u to the negative 1 du which becomes 2 times u to the power. Oh, well, we can't do that because we can't add 1 to get 0. You remember that the integral of u to the power negative 1 is the natural log of u plus c. So we're introducing some of our new integration stuff. Um, which means that we've kind of got the answer there. We can't do anything more with that, but we can substitute back. Substitute back. What did we start with? The integral of 6e to the x over 3e to the x plus 1 with respect to x is 2 times the natural log of u, which is 3e to the x plus 1. I put my wee parallel lines to do the absolute value. We don't want a negative value in there. Plus the constant of integration. We don't know if there's a constant or not, and there's my answer. Okay, so integration by substitution part one, if you can spot when to use it, it's quite a straightforward process for something that looks kind of complicated. So hopefully that's helpful. Try some yourself, and we're going to go on to look at what we call integration by substitution part two, which is when, unfortunately, the, those kind of rules don't apply, and we have to fiddle about with it a little bit more, okay?